Well, as you guys know, marijuana is legal in the state, but marijuana businesses are not allowed here in Harupa Valley. And law enforcement tell us what they found inside here resembled more of a business than a church. When police started serving a search warrant on the Vault Church in Harupa Valley, church members started praying in a group on the sidewalk and taking their sacrament out in the open. Our church members are very sincere about cannabis being our central sacrament. That belief may not be very common, but these church members say it's their right to practice their faith however they want. I have been involved in religion my whole life, and the cannabis church is not anything different than any other religion. The Vault Church, my church! But the district attorney's office says this church and two of their other locations in Riverside County are operating as illegal marijuana dispensaries. Their cannabis regulation task force found an indoor grow operation at this site and seized large amounts of marijuana and cash. It's a dispensary. We know it's a dispensary, but our city does not allow it. So they have to go to another spot. Carolyn Munoz, who lives nearby, says the mostly residential area can't handle all the dispensary's traffic at all hours of the day. And although she's not against people using marijuana, she says people shouldn't pretend they're doing it for religious reasons. I'm a churchgoer, so that's why I find it offensive. That is blasphemous to say it's a church, it's not a church. One of the vault's ministers understands why some people say that. I don't blame them. There are a lot of fake cannabis churches out there, and I've seen them myself, but. They need to come in and see what we're really about. He says it's just a misunderstanding, and he hopes law enforcement will realize that. It was disappointing, but uh, I sat back. I took up sacrament myself. I did a little prayer, and the Lord let me know everything's going to be okay. Now, there were no arrests during this raid, but an attorney for the church still says that he believes this is a case of religious persecution, and he plans on filing suit. That's the latest in Harupa Valley.